Before he was reassigned, King had served as head of public works for the past year. He says he believes it's time for him to step aside to give the mayor a chance to bring in new leadership for the beleaguered department. Former Jackson Public Works Director Marlon King resigned this week, less than two weeks after he was reassigned to deputy director. It was best for me to move out of the way and let them come in and craft their own vision for the department. King tells us what he believes led to systemic failures at the O.B. Curtis Water Treatment Plant, which triggered a federal disaster declaration. Staffing and just long-term maintenance issues. But, you know, at the core of that is staffing, because if you have the staffing and the funding, then you could address a lot of those maintenance needs. So that's a lot of what led to it. King served as public works director for the past year. He told us until four months ago, he had no role in the day-to-day -day management of the water treatment plants. If you go back and look at my confirmation, you'll see where the mayor was very clear about what my duties and responsibilities would be, uh, Dr. Williams' responsibilities would be, and so it was only after he left that I started to get involved with the plant. King is leaving Jackson, but he may not be done with water management. He says another city in the metro has contacted him about leading its public works department. And what do you see for the future for Jackson's water system? I think now that we have the governor as well as the White House, that now that you have all parties involved, I think you're going to see dramatic improvements, and that's what's needed, everybody working together. And future control of the Jackson water system is very much up in the air. Governor Reeves said today that he believes it's unlikely that the city of Jackson will control the water system anytime soon, if ever. Tonight, we're live at City Hall, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.